matters of the brain. Or brain sonas. <laughs> yeah. So we drew characters from our heads that just sounds like imaginary friends. But explain Sleepy Rob. So I I have a thing where when I go to sleep, um, people if people come to interact with me, I will sit up, I will walk around, I will talk with them. Whole and I have zero recollection of these events. Yeah. So what we've dubbed this over the years is Sleepy Rob. That I have an alt persona that <laughs> surfaces to keep my real brain asleep. <laughs> and his entire purpose is just to go back to sleep. Yeah. And, and I've heard tales of you, like, uh, totally unconscious throwing girlfriends across the room to get them away from you so you can continue sleeping. You make me sound real bad with that. That's not, <laughs> that's not quite... No? Well, so, she, I had a girlfriend who jumped on me in, like, a frisky way. And the way yeah. she described it, I looked up at her, I lovingly stroked her <laughs> face, and I just... Tossed her off me and rolled over. <laughs> Just eat. Uh. No, I didn't like. I wasn't <laughs> physically assaulting women in no. my sleep. No, I just basically like tossing someone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I ha I am a legendarily heavy sleeper. Uh, my best friend has kicked me in the face. I slept through it. Mm -hmm. uh, earthquakes. I slept through them. Yeah. Fire alarms. Uh, alarm clocks have always been an issue for me. Well, that's why you have to be married. Because that way I can poke you. Well, I think since... the So, A, uh, I'm not as... My life isn't as stressful anymore. True. It's not... I'm not working three jobs. I'm... So, it's it's easier for me to get rest. So, it's not as bad anymore. I get up with the alarm clock mostly. 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 But it's not as bad as it used to be. No. Uh, it's because I'm, I'm well and well fed. And I have time for myself... And, um, I'm also the brain pills. That, that's true. I've just experienced, in general, even at your worst, with me personally, Sleepy Rob just wants me to join him. Yeah, it's very cuddly. Yeah, so it's not leave me alone so I can sleep, it's, but the bed is so warm. Why don't you come join me? Yes. And then that's where the tentacles come into play, because you will just grab on. I will drag you into bed, and you cannot escape, <laughs> and we are napping. And now it's you and Nyx will do that to me. So it's just yeah. you and this tiny little dog trying to put her tongue up my nose. They just want me to be in the bed. Yeah. Be asleep. <laughs> it's time for snuggles. Yeah. So that's so my experience with Sleepy Rob isn't terrible. Although if I've had conversations with Sleepy Rob... You've been upset sometimes. You're like, we talked about this. And I'm like, when? And it's like 2 a.m. It's just like, I was asleep. <laughs> or, I, or you'll take a nap, and Sleepy Rob will promise me he's about to wake up. He's he's getting up right now, in fact. He's, he, like, gaslights me yeah. into thinking that you're about to get up. But it's, it's a lie. He told me he's just been like, I am up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm waiting there. With your eyes closed. And it's like, well, what do you mean? So. What yeah. are you dreaming about that you think you're awake? No. So that's... Eh. <laughs> so yeah, it's been really weird throughout the years to people being like, no, we had a like, full conversation. We sat up. We, we ate stuff together. Like, you came out to the kitchen and be like, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> that was somebody else. <laughs> well, that was Sleepy Rob. Well, it's good to know that I'm not harboring like a, a murderer alter ego. I just have no. a very nappy boy. <laughs> Who needs to get needs to get his straight eight? I mean, the grand scheme of demon possession, I feel like that's not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> just hey, it's me. Just came up for a nap. Yeah, uh, we call an old priest and a young priest to exercise you, and it's just like, nope, he just just wanted to nap. He's just sleepy. I see nothing wrong with this. Your mother takes naps in hell. Yeah, right, like. Call me when he's spitting up pea soup. Well, sloth is a sin, but, you know, one of the more harmless ones to general, like, Public. society. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Like, wrath, other people get hurt. That's true. Even lust involves other people. Yeah. Well, envy. hopefully. <laughs> envy involves other people. Yeah, envy has to involve other people. I guess pride kind of has to involve other people, too, because you have to, like, be showing off and... Yeah, just being proud, you have to... Otherwise, it's, you know... Eh. <laughs> yeah. I did try I did try to use, like, spooky colors for the bed, though. And I am very proud with, like, the angles I drew on this. Yeah. No, it's a good bed. 
It's a solid bed. Just floating in the void bed. Yeah. Just, uh, the tentacles. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> like you've got a fake foam head on. Somewhere between In the Mouth of Bandits and Jacob's Ladder. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Everything you said is good and bad. Yeah. Better or worse. Just take a nap. Get sleepy with it. <laughs> Get sleepy with it. Get sleepy with it. Should that be on a t-shirt? Get sleepy with it? Only if it's a sleep shirt. Yeah. I... And I could have shaded it, but I didn't. The, the fact that you're also under the bed with the tentacles. Like, you are just the bed itself. Well, that's wrapping around. Because you, you expect the top of the bed tentacles. Under uh, the bed tentacles are going to come for you. That Sleepy Rob is, uh, is sneaky like that. He is. He is sneaky. That is true. He's a problem. He's a problem, but I love you. <laughs> I'm glad you love me. So that's... That's Sleepy Rob. That is Sleepy Rob. Um... So, yeah, minor issue uh, that I do things when I sleep and I'm not aware of them, but they're never, like, it's never it's never violent. I never wake up and, like, my fridge is empty, my door is unlocked, so it's the gentlest sleepwalking, I guess. <laughs> yeah, least problematic of the sleepwalking. Yeah, but it's the thing that happens. It is the thing that happens. And that's him, Sleepy Rob. Mm. And mine is not something other people experience, Timothy. Jimothy. Jimothy is just, just me. It's, you know, everybody has that, like, internal dialogue. You know, any kind of invasive thoughts. Things you're just like, that's not what I really believe, though. That's not really what I think about myself or about other people. The, the instant judgmental, then you have to think about it and go, well, what do I actually think? He's your internalized sassiness. Yeah, and sometimes toxic to myself. Yeah. You know, it's that, that self-hating talk. And, uh... I don't so, know if that's something that no one else has, though. So no, I, I think it's everybody has to a certain extent. Yeah. But I started calling that voice Jimothy, because that way, when I say awful things to myself, I can go, it's just Jimothy. And I don't feel as bad. I'm not internalizing it as much. Yeah. So, so this is Jimothy. And sometimes he is helpful. Like, when he called my bra old yeller and told me to take it out back to shit it, he was right... That we've discussed. This is a problem with Jimothy, is when he's right. Yeah. Like, he can be right sometimes. He's sassy about it, but... Mean. Yes. But... Sassy and mean. But that bra was stabbing me with the underwire. <laughs> you had sewn it a couple times, and it needed to go. And we did, um... You, you'd never buy yourself enough bras. Yeah. I have to goad you into buying new bras. That's so true. So, Jimothy was on my side on that one. Yeah. So, there, there is that. That it's very much... There's a, a two edges to it, you know? Yeah. And sometimes it's useful. It's just this necklace that says no. Just no. We've discussed t-shirts he would wear, which is, I, I just came to leave dramatically. I do love I'm that I'm only idea. here to leave dramatically. Yeah. I want to make that shirt. I want to have shirt. that shirt. Cause wear it to parties you don't want to be at. Wear it to family gatherings. Yeah. <laughs> so... I realized that the outfit I gave him is mostly stuff that I own to some degree. Like, he's got cowboy boots, which I have, but his are better than mine. The hot suspenders? Yeah, you know? High-waisted pants. Also, the, the fingerless gloves, I, I made them very Dead Ray adjacent. Yeah, I could see that. Just, I have one type of man that I draw, and this is it. This is just the slightly gayer version of him. So he's like... Elvis at brunch. Yeah. Better put together. He's <laughs> and I don't often do a, um, you know, an, an under sketch, an under drawing. But in this case, I really had to because there were lots of different parts and I kept changing my mind about things. You took your time with the sketches, but there were a, he has a lot of accessories. Yeah. And there were a lot of details. Like, the boots have details. The gloves have details. And I needed it to all work together. Yeah. The mug has details. Yeah. And everything's on a different layer, so I can just erase anything that overlaps. The boots were kind of a pain in the butt because of the details. <laughs> and the angles. And desperately yeah. trying to make sure that the legs were 
correct length. You, you had a very lanky boy. See, I cheated. I put most of my body under covers, so I didn't have to draw. Well, your body wasn't figure. even your body. Your body was tentacles. It was a form underneath. But it was tentacles. I cheated hard. <laughs> like, I think both of these boots are great. I don't think they make sense together. <laughs> but I was trying. <laughs> I was trying to do like foreshortening and such, and I don't know if I succeeded or not. But it's done, and that's what matters. Yeah. But all the, all the little details. And then I had my... <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> the color swatch. Yeah. My palette. And I don't use all the colors. These are just like... This is, I've decided, the only ones I can use if I'm using them at all. It's a guide. Yeah. I had fun with the eyes. Yeah. Very good eyes. <laughs> Lots of little details that get lost because you're only ever going to see this from far away. Like when it's online or whatever. But... I thought you really did a really good job with the face and hair. Thank you. Very I mean, it's all, the, the entire thing is just so detail-oriented, it's great. Thank you. <laughs> I, think, I think partly he wound up looking this way because uh, we saw Bye Bye Birdie recently. Oh, that's definitely a factor. Yeah, I hadn't seen it in years. But, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a thing we watched recently. I want these boots. Just right. in my life. They must exist. Right? Like, rockabilly is a thing. There's a rule on the internet. If you can imagine it, it exists. They probably exist. They probably exist. And Somewhere out there, someone's sewing bats onto leather boots and being like, someone wants this. And that someone is me. And, you know, I, I tried not to use exactly the same colors I tend to use in everything, always, but I don't know if I succeeded. I have a palette that I tend to go with. I didn't, no, I didn't get that. And the mug just says, spill this. <laughs> Whoops. I I don't know what I even meant. Like, I guess because it holds tea. tea. Yeah. But it only works if it's holding tea. It's like my mug that has not tea written on it. Yeah. That I only use for tea. Yeah. Spill this. I could make that mug, too. The mug I could make easier than the shoes. The shirt and the mug are easy. The shoes, that's a special order. Yeah, that I would need. Wonderful like, shaving. The thing name. I didn't do. <laughs> I, I tried to actually do some like hard shading versus soft, you know, blended. I, I was just I'm lazy. Cause I, you went all out. Well, I tend to just, I over blend a lot. So I was trying to let it you push have it. contrast. Yeah. You've been you've been working very hard at, at pushing the darks, making sure there's a good amount of contrast. Hey. Yeah, here's where I said, oh, you know what? I don't like the stool. The stool is hard. The window is dumb. He's in my brain. He'll be literally on my brain. Just sitting there, looking at your eyeballs, shouting yeah. stuff. Yeah. So now that's this was final decision. I think that ended up better though. I agree. And it's he like looks, a beanbag for him. Yeah, he looks cozier. Yeah. So, these are our That's brain Jimothy. friends. Rock on. Rock on.